here is my home rack. The top machine is a router, also web server, a couple other things. Bottom machine and the one below it, the 2U, are both not used very often. They're just kind of ones I sometimes use for testing. And uh, the 2U machine I've used for backup now and then. The next machine, this 4U machine, it runs Open Solaris. I use it as a backup server. So just for some important data, I don't. I only run it when I run backups, which isn't too too often. This next machine is my main machine right here. Pretty much the machine that um, I also use as a desktop machine. I've got about 35 foot cables that come in from the back, and you can see them down here for VGA, to the DVI, USB, PS2, etc. And they go through the closet here to go to the back, to go through my other closet, my bedroom, to go to the computer. And then down here we have these two 3U disc enclosures. They're Supermicro SC33 or 933 3U chassis. Um, they don't actually have any guts in it. They just have a SAS expander, uh, something to power the SAS expander, and uh, as well as allow the machine to turn on. And uh, other than that, they just have drives, just a chassis, dumb, dumb chassis basically. It saves power and also their DAS, direct attached storage to the machine above. So technically this 10U, these two 3U boxes and this 4U are kind of all one machine, so 50 discs. The bottom two have uh, three terabyte drives and they're all in one RAID 6 array. Um, so it's 30 drives in RAID 6, so it's basically 84 terabyte, terabytes usable, not terabytes, excuse me. And the top machine is 2 terabyte drives, so it's got 20 of those, so 40 terabytes. So basically together, just the drives would be like 130 terabytes, but you lose about 10, so it becomes 120 terabytes usable after the RAID. And the Slayers one is 1 terabyte disks, some of my old disks, so it's just 20 terabytes, and it's just for my important data I want to back up. I've got uh, two U UPS, really cheap UPS I got, and then below that a really cheap color laser printer. It was like 150 bucks with five dollars shipping, and it's like 90% toner, and I've never put toner in it, so it's actually worked out well for me. Here's the side of the rack. I've actually got my little temperature sensor down there that I use to monitor the temperature of the room. Also, I've got a vent up here, which is also hooked up to a fan, so it can pull, suck hot air out, and I can open a window, and it sucks cool air from the window, from any window in the house, pretty much. And I've got the, uh, one of the sides of the rack right here, but I don't really use. Just kind of have it sitting off to the side. This room's pretty much dedicated to, you know, the server, so it's like my server room. And here, if I come back to the back of the rack here, let me get my flashlight out so I can make sure people can see things properly. There we go. Um, top machine, the 2U machine and the one above it aren't plugged in that often. I just, especially because the 2U one will actually power, on, power up and use power. So the top one's got basically uh, uh, a two, two, two port NIC, gig, gig NIC, and two onboard Ethernet gig NICs, and I was using it to load balance and bond my connections. I've got a little patch panel up here that has eight drops to various places in my house, nine and ten go outside, so I used to have two BIOS 35 megabit connections, and I uh, bonded the connections using the top 1U box. Um, here's the back of my of the open Solaris box. You can see the SAS expander and disc controller and a USB. 
in the bracket that's basically using expansion slots on here. It's an actual computer, of course, since it's Solaris. And then the one below is my main machine. You can see it actually has a keyboard, P PS2 keyboard plugged in. And it's actually got a real video card, DVI video card, and sound card. You got the two BBUs, a RAID, the onboard RAID, well, RAID control for the internal disks, and a fan because it doesn't have a fan, and then the external disk RAID controller that is using these two SFF8088 cables to plug into the SAS expanders and these other chassis down here. You can see they don't have any motherboard or anything in them, they're just basically empty. And there's the temperature sensor again, and then I've got my, my switch down here. And a console server, serial console server, which I don't use too much, but the D-Link switch is just a cheap gigabit switch. I, I didn't really need a managed switch for any reason. And the biggest reason to just go with the cheap one was actually power usage. As you can see, all my power down here, running about one kilowatt right now. Which isn't too bad actually for what I'm powering. I mean, I got these two disk enclosures down to less than 300 watts for both of them with 30 disks in it, which is actually pretty damn good. And generally, the only machines I have running are basically these two disks, these two uh, 3U machines with disks in them and the 4U that the disks get powered off on the three on the 3U machine boxes, so it actually goes down to about 150 watts when the disks are powered down, 100 to 150 watts. Unfortunately, just the fans running actually take quite a bit of the power on these chassis, so... Noise isn't too bad, but I do have keep the door in my bedroom closed and just so I don't have to, it doesn't have to bother me too much. But it's, it's not horrible. I mean, most of these have got low power fans or been modified to be a little bit quieter than they normally are. And the other machine I have on all the time is this top 1U box, which is my router, since so it's always on and web server and other stuff. So total rack storage, I want to say, I, I know I calculated it out before, I want to say it's 172 terabytes, but I'm not, I'd say don't quote me on that, since I'd have, of the actual disks, not the usable. Um, now I've got, instead of having two FIOS connections, I've got one 150 down, 75 up from Verizon, which could actually, you know, most racks out there in data centers don't use much more than 100 meg. Uh, if that, depending on what they're being used for. So I could actually throw a few servers in here and maybe rent Colo to somebody, <laughs> though most people would probably think it's a joke since I don't have backup power or anything like that, but kind of like a little home data center, but not really a data center. It does allow me to have my own servers though without having to pay for Colo, although I do have a Colo machine, but that's because I get free Colo work. So got this fan pretty much running 24 seven up here since, uh, just to keep the airflow in the room so a bunch of hot air doesn't kind of pile up and stuff. So I'd say that's about it. That's my home rack. I've got, I kind of did some disk activity stuff so the, get nice little blinky LEDs here. Since normally this thing, the power LEDs aren't even hooked up. So if you actually look at it, you can't even tell it's on and running without the disks up and doing something on them. All right, well, that concludes my video.